Hi guys, your math warm-up for today is an estimistory, where estimation meets math mysteries. Uh, this activity comes to us from Steve Wyberney and his website. He has lots of really cool math activities that we like to do. This is activity number 208, Kazoom. This is an estimation activity. You guys are going to want to get a pencil and a piece of paper or just something to write with and something to write on because you're going to be writing down your estimate and making changes to it as you go. And then before uh, the big reveal of the answer, you're going to want to pause the video and share your work and your thinking with your teacher, either by taking a picture and sending it to her, maybe recording yourself, explaining it, however your teacher wants you to send it. And uh, okay, so let's get started. Get that pencil paper ready. How many kazoos are in the vase? Think about that. As the clues appear, use the information to narrow the possibilities to a smaller set. After each clue, use estimation again to determine which of the remaining answers is the most reasonable. Write down your first estimate if you haven't done so already. After each clue, you'll see if your estimate is still a possibility. After each clue, if it is no longer possible, write down a new estimate and be prepared to explain why you chose it. So after you get the clues, if you realize, oh no, my answer can't be right, you're going to cross it out and write a new one. Okay, so let's look at our clues. Clue number one, the answer is an even number that is less than 60. So the answer is even and it's less than 60. Make a change if you need to. Clue number two. Count by tens to 50 and cross off all those numbers. Count by tens to 50 and cross off all those numbers that you said. Making a change to none of those are your answer. Okay, so anything you said counting by tens to 50 cannot be the answer. All right, clue number three. Kazoo is spelled with two O's. However, the digit two is not in the answer. So you, if you have a two in your estimate, you need to make a change. Clue number four. The answer does not include the digit eight. So if you have an eight in your answer, then you need to make a change. Clue number five. The answer does not include the digit four. Okay, so these clues have now helped us to narrow it down. After seeing the clues, you have narrowed the possibilities to a small set of numbers. Before you see the answer, select your final estimate. Write it down and explain to someone why you chose that number. Think about what's the most reasonable for the number of kazoos in that vase. And before you move on to the move on to the answer, I want you to pause the video and share your answer with your teacher. All right, here's the big answer. Ding! 36 kazoos in that vase. So how did you do? Was your estimate close? Was it correct? Let your teacher know. All right, have fun with your math today, guys.